Hello and welcome to day 55 of our Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'm going to share with you five incredible useful uses of the global module. I'll be showing you how to build them and also how to apply them throughout your whole website. So let's get started. When building our websites, one of the main key areas as a designer is to be able to design efficiently and fast. Now, one of the features that Divi offers us is very, very important and it's called global modules. Now, this feature allows you to use modules over and over again throughout your website. So you can imagine if you have a website with say, for example, 80 pages and you're trying to design each module throughout all the 80 pages, it's gonna be very difficult. So I'm gonna show you the modules that I've built to put together this website. And this is what I would do in a real life situation. So I hope this was gonna help you come up with ways you can uh, design your website. Okay, so I have a few global modules that I've created. Right, so uh, we have an ad here. Okay, so my, int my, uh, my intention is to have this ad go out through the whole website on specific pages that I need. Okay, now the next one is this testimonial. Now I want to be able to use this testimonial on several pages, but as I'm designing my website, I don't want to need, I don't want to have to recreate this every time I need the testimonial. So this is where the global modules is going to come in. Okay, and here we also have this um, call to action. Again, this is going to work the same way. We're going to pull this call to action on areas of the website that we need. And then finally, we have this footer. So if we take a look at, the, at our main website, you can see here we don't have a footer. So by making it global, it means we can apply this throughout the whole website. So what I'm going to do here is to start off quickly by showing you how I created these modules. So with the first one, which is the ad, uh, this was created in Photoshop. And then what I did is I brought the image into this section. And how I did that is just by uh, creating a standard section and then choosing one column and then inserting a, uh, an image module like that. And then finally, all I did was upload the image, which is right here in my media gallery. So that's all you have to do for that. You also need to add the URL to where you want this image to point to. Okay, so that's all that you need to do here with this ad. Now to make it global, all you have to do is to right click here and then click on save to library. So once you've done that, just give it a title. So I'll, I'm just gonna call this ad. And then here is the main, uh, the most important part make this item global. So what you need to do now is to um, make this item go global, save and add to library. So now you can see the color has changed. It means every time we need to add an ad to a page, we can always just go to that page and um, grab it from our library. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So this is the testimonial. So again, with this one, I opened a standard section and then I inserted the um, testimonial module, which you can find by just going here and scrolling down here to testimonial. Okay. And then what I did after opening this, I'll just close this so we don't get confused. So what I did after that is I went in and added the author name, the job title, the company, and also the image. Okay, so once you upload the image, what you need to do now is to add the, uh, the testimonial itself right there in the content area. And then in the advanced design settings, what you need to do is to do a few adjustments. For the image, I made the border radius 100 and the portrait width 200 and the height 200. And then that gave us um, this, this nice, perfect circle. Okay, so that's how I did the uh, testimonial module. And again, what we're gonna do straight away here is to make this global so we can use it on, on uh, different uh, pages over and over again. Okay, so I'm gonna right click, save to library, and then I'm gonna name this testimonial. I'm gonna make it global. And then I'm gonna save and add to library. Okay, so moving on, we have this call to action. 
So with this, it was quite straightforward. All I did was add a row, one third and two thirds, like that. And then in this module, I added an image. And then uh, on the two thirds bit, I added the text and the button. So we can see the ad is there. And this is the call to action that I created. Okay, so I'm going to right click and save to library. And then we're going to call this call to action. Make it global. Save and add to library. And finally, we have the footer. And again, this is um, easy to create. Uh, what I have here is the text, but I added the logo in there. And then here I have the page titles. Uh, the titles for the for the links to the footer. So here I've got Meet Sunshine. That's my title. There. And then I added the links to go with it on the bottom. So you can see them right here. Okay. And again, if you want these links to link to specific pages, all you have to do is to highlight the text like that and then insert the link by, cl uh, by clicking this button. At the moment, I've just added a blank link. Okay, right. So after I've done that, just save and exit. And then I've also got uh, another title here. And the title says need help. And then below that, we have the links to the help center company terms and the contact us. Okay. So I'm going to save this footer as a global item so I can use it throughout all the pages. So again, I'm going to save it to the library. And I'm going to call this footer. In fact, I'll call it main footer. Okay, I'm going to make this item global. And then I'm going to save and add to library. That should work now. Perfect. Okay, so I'll just get rid of these because we don't need. So now that we have all our global modules and sections, what we're going to do is we are going to apply these to the pages throughout the whole website. Now, first of all, we can see here we've got a footer missing. And also we have a problem here on the header area. In fact, let me show you how I also created the header. So what you need for this one is a full width section. So I'm going to click on full width. And then the module that you need to insert is the full width post title. Okay, so if you click on that and then just insert this full width post title. Show title is set to yes. Text orientation is centered. And text color is light. And then if I go to the advanced design settings, we can see here the background color. The text font size is 44. The line height is 2Ms. The text title color is this. Okay. And then what I've done here as well is, and this is very important because uh, the title needs to be away from the navigation titles. So what I've done here is I've added this, this 200 pixels padding to the top. Okay. So finally, what we need to do is to make sure that we make this a global item. So I'm going to right click here and save to library. So I'm going to call this the main titles. I'm going to make it global. And again, I'm going to save this to the library. So now that we have all the modules that we need, next, we need to apply these modules to the rest of the pages throughout the whole website. And I'll show you how easy it is. So if we take a look here, we can see that the header area is missing. In fact, there is something there, but uh, it's on a white background, as you can see. And we also need the footer. And this is the beauty of the global modules. If you were to build this website without the global modules, you'll be coming to this page, creating the footer and also the header every time you need it. So it's not feasible. It's a waste of time. And this is the best way to do it. Okay, so... What I'm going to do now is to add the, the, the header area and also the footer. So you have to click on add from library. So here we've got the main titles. So we've got it right there. Drag it to the top. And then I'm going to add the footer. So I'm going to click on add from library. And then we're going to click on main footer. And that's all you need to do. If I click update, let's take a quick preview so you can see what changes have been made now. There you have it. Straight away, you've got this beautiful header area. And if you scroll down here, now you've got your footer. Now, this was going to be impossible 
to do, say, even a 10-page website where you have to come memorize the size, the colors of these sections. So by doing this globally, it's very, very straightforward. So let's go ahead and do the services page. So you can see here the services page needs some work. Okay, so I'm going to add from library. So I'm going to do the main title and also the footer. Okay, click on update. Again, you see that's been applied instantly. Okay, now let's add a testimonial on this page. And to do that, again, it's straightforward. All we need to do, since we've saved this already, add from library, and then I'm going to add the testimonial right there. Click update. Okay, so now we have our testimonial. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. So this is the About Us page. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to make sure we use the global uh, modules too. So I'm just going to close this one. Um, I'll leave the ad as it is. I'm going to close the call to action. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the main title. Drag this to the top and then click update. Brilliant. Okay, so now we have the titles in place. Okay. Now, if we go to the blog page, we can see here we still we, we have the same problem. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the page. And then I'm going to add from library. I'm going to start with the main title and then also do the footer. Drag this to the top and then drag the footer to the bottom. Now, on this page, uh, we're going to do something different. We need an ad to go on this page because this is our blog page. So to add the ad, I'm just going to add the ad above the footer and then click update. So now we have a title on our page. And if you scroll down here, we also have this ad. And we can always place this wherever we want on the website because it's a global item. So the next thing we're going to do now is to take a look at the blog articles. But with the blogs, I need to do something a bit different here. You see now the color that we have here on the header area of the pages of the website needs to be different to the blog articles. And here's an example I have here. So we can see the colors are different. And also we have um, the blog title and also the date it was produced. And also it shows the comments. Okay, so this is what we need for the blog titles. And to do that, again, we're going to go into the edit post. So for this title now, we're going to save it to the library. So I'm going to call this blog title and I'm going to make this global. So every time I create a blog, I need to use this full width post title. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. And there we go. This distinguishes the normal pages from the blog pages. Okay, so what we need to do now is to make a decision on uh, where we need our call to action goes. And um, I think the call to action pretty much needs to go on the blog articles and also the ad. So to add that, it's quite straightforward. Let's go on edit post and add. So I'm going to close this for now and then let's add it from the library. So the call to action is to go in here. And I th also think we need to have an ad to go throughout the whole website on all blog articles. So I'm going to do that here as well and click on add. And I need the ad to be above the main blog article. So go ahead and click update. So we can see we have our ad here on the top. And also we have our call to action on the bottom. Okay, so this looks cool. So as you're designing your blog articles, you just have to remember that it has a different color and also you need to include the ads that you need. Now, one of the items that I haven't um, uh, explained about the beauty of the global modules is if you change one instance of this uh, global item, 
it changes it throughout the whole website. So let's see what happens if we edit this become a VIP member. Okay, so this is the text. So I'm going to change this to 10. So this is something that you may have uh, decided as your website is growing. So if I click save and exit, what's going to happen now is that change is going to be updated throughout the whole website on where that module is. So say I'm going to add it on this page. So if I add from library and now I need to add a call to action, we don't need to go in there and make some changes because the change has been done globally. So if I click on update, then we scroll down, you can see here it has updated. So you can see how powerful these global modules are. And this is a very useful way you could use them to design your website. It makes the workflow faster and also it keeps consistency throughout the whole website because it's very difficult to remember what settings you've used for each module if it's not made global. And again, as I mentioned before, this is the real life example of how you can use these global modules. So there you have it. This is how you use Divi's global settings to make your workflow much, much easier. As we count down to the release of DV 3.0, we'll be producing more and more of these videos to help you stay motivated and also inspired to build your own websites with our platform. I hope this video helps. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and also do follow us on our social media platforms. Keep looking out for more of these videos. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to day 51 of our Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our free header UI kit to customize your website header area to however you want it to look. We've had a few questions from the community saying the header area that comes with Divi is not very flexible. So this layout kit is going to help you achieve that flexibility. Okay, let me show you how to install and use this.